It's James Empty Pockets Garage. Yeah, I'm not Jake from Allstate or State Farm, wherever it's from. I'm doing this because I told Brad I'd substitute for him for a class, give him a break. I am, after all, I am highly qualified, and, or is that highly qualified? And I'll tell you the story of why I think that is. So, we're going to start off. He's in the middle of a wiring class, so I figure I'd take it from there. About the best I can do is, I have my wiring kit for my 55. I just don't have the 55 here, it's still in storage. So, that part of the class is over with already. So, did I mention I had a lava lamp? Uh, but, yeah, it's right there. It's not on. I'm using extension cord for something else. I apologize. We got crappy weather here. It's always cloudy lately. It's either super hot and humid or it's raining like crazy like today. It's hot and, and humid and tomorrow it's going to rain. So, to simulate Hawaii, I thought I'd throw these on. So we'll go, we'll go from here. We'll do a little story time. Why I think I'm qualified. Years ago, when I was still in high school, I was in 11th grade. I was in my 10th grade math class. Oh yeah, and by the way, for this, I forgot to say, four speed. Thought I'd show you a picture. Anyways, 11th grade in my 10th grade math class, my math teacher, Mr. Crystal was reviewing some homework that we had to do. It was on algebra. You know, algebra ain't nothing but math made up for a bunch of smart kids trying to show off. I mean, really? Anyways, he was going over my my homework, and he looked at me and he said, uh, James, you really should don't even need to, uh, to finish high school and graduate. He says, you already have a degree in stupidity. So, I took that to heart. I quit school. I went to work as an underpaid mechanic. Did it for years. Finally realized that that was a diss, not a, a compliment. I went back and got my GED. Stay in school, kids. So that's story time. Okay, we'll, we'll jump to the next thing. What is the next thing? Quiz. Quiz. Okay. So, don't send me any comments. Uh, on your answers on these quiz because I, I really don't want it. Just you send it to Brant. Uh, Brant can read this off on a Monday. I don't have very many followers, so he ain't going to have that many comments, but we'll go from here. Quiz. What year was it required for U.S. manufacturers of cars to install seat belts? That's your quiz. So, like I said, comment to Brant. You can give me a comment and tell me how good I am as a teacher. You know, you know, you can you can brag about me if you want. It's okay, cool. Oh yeah, the purple items behind me. Teach my girlfriend how to paint. Uh, this is a, a panel we practice on, and this over here is yeah, it's a fender off my '55, and this is the color of my '55. It's gonna be purple haze with. Uh, two uh, sizes of flake in it. But anyways, enough about me. Not really enough about me. Let's go on to the next thing. Um, I think I did pretty good this class already. I mean, I think I'm a natural. So, just let me know. If you like it, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you don't like it, Please don't unsubscribe. I mean, I need, you know, I, I like to be out in front of people. I like to uh, pass on my wisdom and something like that. So, once again, subscribe, like, dislike, comments. If it's about me, praising me, send them to me. If it's going to be the answer to the quiz, send them to Brant. This is James. Empty Pockets Garage. Till next time, I'm out.